Okay, guys, so we are going to divide these cookies into my dad, my brother, and my mom, okay? Mom, thank you. Ninja, and dad. <laughs> now, can you guys tell me if we divided those equally? Mom has four. Angel has four, and my dad has one. <laughs> Ooh, four cookies! Wow! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> what can we do to help them solve the problem? My dad is mad and sad because he only has one cookie. And my brother and my mom are happy because they do have equal cookies. What can we do to help them all have an equal amount of cookies? Don't be sad, I share a cookie with you. No estés triste, yo también te doy una. Ahora, todos tenemos tres. Yo have three. Sí, tenemos tres. Qué bueno, estoy muy contento. Ahora sí, a comer. <laughs> okay guys, so this week we are going to learn how to solve different situations like that so that we can divide objects into equal groups, okay? Just like we just did right now, we divided the nine cookies with three people. My mom, my dad, and my brother. And each one of them got three cookies, okay? Hello guys! So this week we are going to be learning all about division. We are going to learn how to divide. Before we get started, we are going to review some key vocabulary, okay? Let me just get my markers real quick and we'll do it in a jiffy. Are you ready? Here we go, I have my markers. Okay, so we are going to review what each one of these numbers are called in a division number sentence. And we are going to begin with the first number, which is the largest number, the number that is going to be separated into smaller numbers, okay? So we are dividing, we are separating into smaller groups. When we are multiplying, we are joining. When we are dividing, we are separating, okay? The first number, which is the largest number, is called the dividend. Can you guys say that with me? dividend very good so the first number is called the dividend and that is the number that we are going to separate into smaller groups so let's go ahead and put the title dividend okay the second number is called the divisor 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 and that just tells me how many groups I am going to divide the dividend into. So here I have 18, that means I'm going to divide the number 18 into three equal groups, okay? And then finally, the, the answer that we get, or the result, is called the quotient. Say quotient. Good job. Quotient. Okay, so real quickly, the dividend tells me how many objects or how many things I have total. The divisor tells me into how many groups I am going to separate or divide the dividend into. And finally, the quotient is the answer. How many are in each group? Just like in multiplication, sorry. Um, we are going to divide using equal groups. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I have the dividend, I have a total of 18 that need to be divided into three equal groups. So I am going to draw three equal groups. Ready? One, two, three. I have three groups. <laughs> I have three groups. And I need to divide the number 18 into three groups. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start counting while I'm placing one in each group until I get to 18. I cannot go past 18 because I only have 18 to divide, okay? So here we go. One, 
two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's it. I divided eighteen into three equal groups. How many are in each group? I have five, six. So my quotient is six. The next method that we're going to use to solve a division problem is arrays, yay! So we already learned a little bit about this with multiplication. And now we're going to use an array to divide. The dividend tells me that I have a total of 18 that need to be divided into three equal groups. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my three rows that will represent my three equal groups. All right, and I'm gonna get down here. Hopefully these come out a little better. <laughs> nope, just the same. All right, so those are my three arrays. One, two, three, remember, the divisor tells me into how many groups I will divide the dividend in. So here we go. I have the number 18 and once again, I'm going to start counting while I put one in each row until I am all out, until I have counted 18. I cannot go past 18 because I only have 18 to divide. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I stopped there. How many are in each row? Five, six, right? So our quotient must be six. All right, guys. And then finally, we are going to use repeated subtraction. With multiplication, it was repeated addition, but now we're going to use repeated subtraction to, because remember, when we divide, we are separating. So we are going to start with the number 18, and we are going to subtract three each time until we are all out, until we get to zero, okay? So I'll start with 18. 18 minus three, okay? Eight minus three is five, and one minus nothing is one. Then I bring the 15 up, and again, 15 minus three, five minus two is two, one minus nothing is one. And I bring the two over here. <laughs> Shelby. 12 minus three, right? I have 12 minus three. What is 12 minus three, guys? Nine, very good. Then I bring the nine over and I subtract again, three. Nine minus three is six. And I just keep subtracting until I get to zero. Three. And then three minus three is zero, yay! So now, to find, here I am. <laughs> to find the quotient, I need to count how many times I subtracted. So here, let me see if you guys can see. I subtracted one time. I subtracted two times, three times, four times, five times, six times. So I subtracted six times to get to zero. That means that my quotient is six. 